Hi everyone, we're almost at the end of the 2021 school year so I thought it was a great opportunity to um, do some farewells and some thank yous. Uh, firstly to some of our teaching staff, uh, Mandy Potter, Stuart Allen, Shelley Byrne, Aaron Simmons, Rachel O'Reilly, Hugh Pinkard, Karen Collins um, and Chris Philpot. We wish you all the very best with your endeavours in 2022. Uh, Tracy Carey and Pat Fleming have chosen to take some time off next year, um, so they won't be returning for the start of the 2020 school, 2022 school year. Um, and of course, Poppy Segoras, who um, we acknowledge her as she is also retiring. Um, we haven't had the opportunity to farewell Poppy um, at this stage, and hopefully we'll get an opportunity at some point in time. Um, I'd also like to thank Wendy Williams and Deb Pags and Jan for their work this term um, in respectively in the reception and year seven classes. Um, we appreciate the effort they've put in. Um, we have some SSOs we're farewelling, um, Kylie Harrison, Michelle Mayer, Jessica Bell, and of course, Cecilia Brown's retiring. And I, I know that everybody uh, has had the opportunity already to, um, to say thank you to Cecilia for the efforts that she's put in at Flagstaff Hill Primary School. We're farewelling Richard Roberts in the canteen after five years of service and we thank him for um, turning the canteen around and make it, making it such a profitable business um, and I know everybody in the community is going to miss his food. Um, and I'd also like to acknowledge Narelle Hodg Hodgson for her uh, 12 years on Governing Council, the last 10 years being as the chairperson, that's certainly a mammoth effort. Um, we're also farewelling, I think it was 160 um, year six and seven students tomorrow night at the graduation, so um, that will be an exciting time as well. Uh, finally, I'd just like to thank the uh, parents and families and the school community for support you've shown the school this year. I know it hasn't always been easy, um, COVID restrictions have play, continued to play a part and I think the reality is that they will continue to play a part, um, not only in our school lives but in all public life. Um, for, for some time yet. So um, while it's frustrating and annoying and, and can get in the way and stops us from returning to doing things in the way we've, um, we've always done them, I guess um, you know, we just need to take the opportunity to be grateful for the fact that we're all safe um, and that we live in a, um, a state and a part of the state that is relatively safe. And I guess a few restrictions are a small price to pay for that. Um, so thank you for your support in that. Um, we know, as I said, it can be a little bit frustrating at times. Uh, hopefully you all have a lovely Christmas break. Enjoy Christmas if, if uh, that's what your family celebrate. Um, enjoy the summer break. Hopefully we'll get some decent weather along the way. It's been pretty um, miserable lately. So um, it would be nice to get some uh, weather to enjoy over the holidays. Enjoy some sunshine, refresh, rejuvenate and be ready to come back um, and start the school year in 2022. My final farewell is of course to Tammy Riley who's taking on um, a six month position elsewhere um, and we will welcome in Melissa Babich in her role for terms one and two. So on that note, um, thank you, have a Merry Christmas, have a lovely holiday and we'll see you all next year. Bye.